Emotional intelligence is for everyone. It's not the easy path, but I think it's worth it. As you pursue your goals while improving your emotional health and stay honest along the way, you're going to find that you're able to overcome more obstacles, stay true to yourself more often, and be fearless. I want that for all of you. I'm Shannon Buckley. I'm changing the way people think and talk about their emotions. Emotions are a part of us that we're born with. They are biological processes that help us in our decision making. And they give us valuable information and serve as our own personal guidance system. It took me a long time to understand these concepts. I struggled with recognizing and communicating my emotions for nearly 20 years. When I did make the connection, I realized there was nothing to be afraid of. By avoiding the truth about how I was feeling, I created patterns that ended up costing me dearly, and I had to learn the lesson that we can avoid parts of ourselves for a period of time and try to function well, but eventually, our internal state will reject our neglect, and it will create a need for our attention, sometimes going to very drastic measures. The good news is, eventually, I learned how to take a proactive and conscious approach to improving my emotional health, and it put me in the driver's seat of my life. It moved me away from feeling like an unconscious passenger who felt out of touch with myself and usually others as well. For a second there, I even felt like I wanted to cry because there's so much like memories and pain with all of this and just trying to like embody it and let that be a part of what I'm doing. <sighs> when you start putting these skills at the forefront of your interactions with others, then you start to invite people into your life that love you for who you are and that want to know more about you your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to adopt a new perspective on your internal experiences. And that new perspective is one of curiosity and patience. Your mind is going to need a goal to go along with your new perspective. So your goal is to improve your ability to recognize and differentiate the variety of ways the energy moves around inside of your body. And the outcome of this new perspective and goal, as you practice and get better and better, is that you're going to be able to stay present and in control, even when you're experiencing intense emotions. It's powerful.